Tonight, some Nashville music videos and bars have a tool to stop overdoses. They're getting naloxone. It can reverse opioid overdoses. Our Danielle Jackson spoke with the organization behind this, and Danielle, they say they're hoping this is going to save lives. That's right, Lydia. Gibson Garage is a part of Gibson Gives. It's a music-based nonprofit getting into the fight against an opioid drug crisis in Nashville and throughout the nation. Gibson Gives is providing opioid overdose emergency kits to local music venues and some bars in downtown Nashville. It's a simple nasal spray that will attack the neurons in the brain that are telling you to stop breathing and, and re-engage you to breathe again. When you open what's called a one box kit, there's a training video in English Aim the tip towards the ear. and in Spanish to show you how to help someone who's overdosing. Dindy Jarrett is the executive director of Gibson Gives, a nonprofit organization focused on music education and wellness. He says they develop a program called Tempo, which stands for training and empowering musicians to prevent overdose. For the last two years, over 100,000 people died of overdose in the United States. It's over 700 in Davidson County alone the last two years running. Those overdose stats are a bad tune, and Jared says their organization wanted to put a life-saving tool in spaces where overdoses could potentially happen. We made 72 of these available uh, to downtown venues, and that has now extended out beyond Nashville. This is the new AED. David Levitt provides his security guards with these kits. He explains how having this nearby is so critical. Well, with downtown crowds, downtown traffic, that can take several minutes. And sometimes it can be too late by the time those paramedics arrive and people end up going to the hospital in very critical condition. Jared says with so much product laced with fentanyl, it takes multiple Narcan hits to bring someone back around. So Cloxado is preferred, A, because it only takes one hit, and B, because it means half, half the product that a county has to invest in. He says the overall goal is to have these available to help save lives. And these kits are free. Jared also says individual venues can replenish the product by going to tempomission.org to receive more. Lydia. Really great info there. Thank you so much, Danielle. Okay.